It's one of the Arcanus lineages. A rare kind, Miss Bathadia. Based on the past cases, you will eventually become yourself again. The old self. What you saw in your mind were not illusions, but memories from your past self. I remember it now. Under the starry sky, on the scorching sand, countless arcanists ran like a herd of beasts. Gosh, they're all in my head. That's the only sports stadium built for arcanists. And I was the first priestess of Uluru ever. I don't think any Arcanus would say no to witnessing the revival of the once magnificent games. A junior student from Melbourne. An old soul, a reincarnator. What's her attitude and what will she do? Please, find out with me! Come on, Flammy. Let's light up the Allura torch. Desert Flannel. I'm not home right now, or I don't have time for calls. Please leave a message after the beep. Hello? We've only got 20 minutes before the game starts. Where are you? Get your ass here now, unless you're dead. Look, look, I know you're not into these games, but you can really use the money, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't have come to me. <sighs> if you stand me up again, we're both screwed. <sighs> Whatever. Just leave it to Thursday. The game on Thursday is crucial. I will get expelled if I mess it up. I'm begging you. Tear just come over now. Th Thursday? Wait, it's Thursday? We missed the right junction. The roads are different from the map Mr. Slouch Hat gave us, but it's too outdated to provide any useful information. Terrific. We've gone wrong again. This is like, yeah, the fourth time. Since my short life is supposed to be spent in creating huge value for all the living things in this world, Foundation should have sent me another bodyguard, a more reliable one. And the contact here should have offered us a more reliable map. I am the one and only reliable bodyguard who can keep you safe among all the others in the Foundation. You are of great significance to Laplace. They don't want you to take any risks. We can go back to the last junction or keep going forward. There is a trail about 300 meters ahead and it leads all the way to the Rolling Crop bookstore. You want to check the map? When things don't work out one way, a researcher will find another. See, there comes another way. Hey, wait, Miss Spa, Spathidia, right? Do I know you?
excuse us. We're looking for a bookstore. It's called the Rolling Croc, with a hand drum made of crocodile skin hanging on the signboard. And that very store has the fragment of the fungus potion analysis report I want. If it weren't for that, no one would have taken a walk on this ridiculously vast land. No one! Besides, there's no frisbee here. The rolling croc. Rolling? Oh, I pass by that store every morning when I exercise. Go straight ahead, turn right into the lane after passing by a cafe with an orange signboard, and there it is. But do keep your heads down, or you'll be hit by the signboards there. I can take you there if you need... Oh, shoot! Warm-up time's almost over. I have to go. My coach is waiting for me for the punching exercise. Sorry, guys. Hope you find the star. Thank you. Hmm? Make way! Make way! Move aside! It's okay. Don't mention it. Wait. Someone's at the corner. Watch. and weak pulse. We have to take her to Laplace. I... those wacky people and had a physical examination. Let me see. Their card is in... Wait, no. I've turned them down. If I go back to them... Uh, that'll be super embarrassing. Besides, I bumped my head on the ground. But it's my stomach that's feeling sick now. I'm sure this is just... a coincidence. I seldom have junk food. And never miss the training at school. I know my body well. It's healthy and tough. I already took the medicine for stomach pain. Now just take a break and distract myself from it. The smell of soil... Mineral, burning coal, and the golden panda. That already makes me feel much better. Oh, this is the first photo of my collection. Mom gave it to me for my fifth birthday. In 1884, branch vault was very popular amongst arcanists. The Uluru games that year had more trees than that in any other years. Then, in 1900, St. Pavlov Foundation took over the Uluru games. Out of security concerns, they abolished one-third of the events that involved dangerous actions, and imposed a lot of regulations on the rest. Jones got first place in the game that year. Then... The games in 1938. 
it was the most successful one ever since the Foundation took over. It was so successful, almost everyone thought the games would be revived and brought back to the public. <sighs> Until... I wish I could see the Uriru Stadium with my own eyes again. Even for just a minute. Like... <sighs> like how I used to host the opening ceremonies in there. Back then, I stood on the highest platform, igniting a flame from the wood saturated by ointment, and then flew on a rosewood branch, following a canoe in water and gently pushing it forward. But the flame had a fight with me. I trembled with anger because she was such an unreasonable blockhead. Then my sight was filled with darkness. My sight? My sight? Did I just say something? What are these things doing in my head? Are they illusions? When did I go to the desert? Since when did I... Now, let's summarize what happened. You fell into a coma for 16 minutes and 30 seconds yesterday, due to external impact. Then you woke up and found yourself fine. That's right! On that night, you felt an unusual burn coming up to your throat from your stomach. At the same time, you had weird illusions. And at last, you vomited ball of fire. Yes, that's right, exactly. For one last time, are you sure no one in your family is related to the Red Dragon? 100% positive. I checked all the family photos and medical records and even rang mum and dad. They denied every possibility of it.
The symptom is really rare to see. I know. So, don't walk away on me. Are you really buying that? I don't doubt it. Then you're a fool, no nut. Would have lost all your clothes to any rotter that comes up to you if you wandered long enough on the streets. And you, I'm warning you, take your little claws off me. Let me go now. Hey, you were the one who burst out of nowhere and knocked me over. Now my brain's not working right and you're responsible for it. Yeah, you mean this smidge of zombie fire? You reckon this is the first time an arcanist sees it? Can get you 20 of these in two days in any workshop. You gotta try harder if you wanna fool me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not a liar. I saw that ball of fire come out of my mouth. You frauds never stop coming up with new scams. No cheat, no eat. Heard that before? Go home with your fake fire. If you continue doing this, be careful of the bunyips. They will crawl into your house through the sewerage and take your tongue because lies are their favourite food. But there is no evidence to prove that she is telling a lie. Evidence? I have more than enough evidence to prove she's not some innocent lamb. She climbed up the tree outside my window and was shouting and screaming there in the middle of the night. The moment I went outside, she took me here like she was carrying a bag of groceries. One may infer that she was shocked by the fire vomiting and thus displayed abnormal behaviours. My God, don't you have adults at home to put some senses in your head? Haven't they taught you not to trust the stranger's words? Especially if they show up at late hours? It's a stranger? I know something's wrong with my head and I'm not even sure who I really am anymore. But you shouldn't have forgotten me. We're neighbours, Desert Flannel. I live three streets away. I even said hello to you. Three streets away? How does it make us neighbours? And I don't think our litter-covered street is part of your fancy community, where people sit by the white fountains and walk in the street gardens. The last time I checked, I was not from some rich immigrant family. No matter what you're looking for, for money or for fun, I couldn't care less about it. The only thing I care about is that my landlord will kick me out if I fail to pay rent this month. So let me go! No! You must not leave! <gasps> oh. I think I just nicked you in the teeth. You must not leave! At least, not before I figure out what happened to me. Things are flashing in my mind now. Sometimes the past, sometimes the present. I remember I can sing, but soon I forget how to do that. I remember the crowd who worshipped me on their knees. The running somewhere like the Uluru Stadium. And something hot. A hot bonfire? I is that a bonfire? Anyway, no matter what it is, I'm just an ordinary person like anyone else living at the end of the century. These things shouldn't be in my mind. There must be something wrong with me. With my head or other parts. I can't just go nuts now. My training plan... It's, it's all ruined. I even have a game to play at the end of the year. Relax. The symptoms may not last. Sensing omens doesn't always mean danger to arcanists. Given the complexity of the situation, I think you need a more detailed physical examination to find the crux. We will help you and take care of you until you completely recover. Or say, become completely normal again. You... Thank goodness. At least I can count on you. Both my mum and dad aren't home right now. I'm on my own. It's all over for me if the condition gets worse. At least, 
And that's how it goes in the TV. Don't jump to the worst conclusion yet. Follow me. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> what? What are you staring at? She's having a body checkup. Do I have to tag along? You're going to sneak away for those part time jobs, aren't you? Fine, genius. You win. Mm. Oi! You're with the suitcase. Do you know how I can get a job here? Looks like they pay their employees well. Here is Miss Spathidia's physical examination. Oh, how sweet. They even got you the Salvia Zoppa clone patches. If the illusions get too real and you can't sleep, use them. Okay, thanks. But I need to ask my coach if I can use it. Don't worry. It's been approved by the Therapeutic Goods Administration of Campbell. The ingredients include salvia, mint, and a hallucination potion. They can neutralize the side effect perfectly. Actually, you're quite the lucky one, you know. That old map shows there used to be stairs where you fell down, with over a hundred steps. Thank goodness you live in the right time. Otherwise, you would have tumbled all the way down there. In that case, no one can tell what you would vomit, fire, or maybe something even worse. Hmm. Wait here. I need to get someone. A weirdo for sure, yet the best person we can turn to for this problem. <gasps> All right. I think that's the last thing I'd like to hear from a doctor. Would you just let go of my hand, Sheila? Or well, the good doctor here will have to cut this hand off later because of necrosis. Uh, I will. But can I hold it for another five minutes, please? I'm sort of nervous. <sighs> That's right. Breathe in, breathe out. Then unbend the fingers. I'm also human, I feel pain too, sweetheart. I can't believe how lucky I am. We haven't seen a living case for decades. This is exciting. Thank you for letting me know about this medicine pocket. Not at all, Ezra, my dear friend. See, I always keep you and your weird little mushrooms at the back of my mind. So, it'd be best if you could give them to me without leaving any records in Laplace's system next time. Anyway, we can talk about that later. Now, go check out the girl. She might be very useful for your paper on Arcana. Of course. I'll tend to her in a moment. I just want to tell you how much I appreciate your thoughtfulness. I've been waiting for this for too long. What? Me? You mean me? Certainly, Miss Spathodia. I came for you. I've been briefed on your case and had a basic understanding of the inner flame temperature and the fuel through the laboratory report. Here's a list summarizing all the conditions. It's still a draft, but please, take a look.
since your condition is stabilized, and as a teenager, you're still in a developmental stage, I'd recommend you to run a test which is more friendly and pleasant to your nose. Now, please blink three times at this dowsing rod and blow on it as lightly as possible. Well, what's this? Oh, no, not like that. Just be gentle with it. Lower your voice so uh, that you don't blow away the spores on the filter. going to roll it up and fix it on the dowsing rod. Ha! <sighs> now time will do its magic. Doctor, is there a cure for my head? Wait, is that th <laughs> the smell of mushroom? It is related to mushrooms, and I'm not a doctor. Please forgive me, Miss Spathodia. I was so overjoyed I forgot to introduce myself. Hello, I'm Ezra. I'm a human researcher at the Laplace Australia branch. My research is mostly on the diversity of local mushrooms and fungi. I'm very thrilled to meet you. You're not a doctor? Just a researcher. And a human. And you're working on mushrooms? That's right. It's a shame that I didn't become a member of the Arcane Study Team, but I'm equally interested in mushrooms. I enjoy this job. So, they get you here to treat me, which means... I'm not a descendant of the Red Dragon, but that of mushrooms? I'm a fire-breathing mushroom girl? No, I'm not here to diagnose your abnormality, Miss Spathodia. You're perfectly healthy. Your brain CT result looks normal, and I can see you're in good shape. In a stricter medical sense, you're almost one of the healthiest people I've ever seen. Ha! Huh, finally someone has a sharp eye. So the truth has been unraveled. There has never been any illusions, nor is anybody putting on some strange, absurd, fire-spitting show. And... But she did not lie. Please, take a look at this. According to the analysis, the core of a fire consists of an obsidian gravel that has 22 evenly distributed layers. This is no modern thing. It's old dating back thousands of years. What? What do you mean? Whose side are you on? Um, have I made it difficult for you to understand? Well, you'll know when you see it. Please bear with me for five minutes. Have you heard of the reincarnators? It's one of the Arcanus lineages, a rare kind. Since this power can only be randomly triggered, and its manifestation could happen anywhere, anytime, and in any fashion, it is hard to identify them when there is one. The most well-known case must be Dorothy of London. She fell down the stairs in her own house and lost every vital sign. But she woke again and became the ancient Egyptian Bentrishit. You... you're not saying that she's... Miss Spathodia is a reincarnator. Those so-called illusions are not a result of any brain damage. They were once real. It's her past. Based on the past cases, 
she'll go through a period of mental turmoil. That could be short or longer than anyone could expect, but eventually she will become herself again, the old self. But how is that possible? Everybody knows that the reincarnators are just some lousy made up tabloid stories. That's right. Sensationalism, that's the mainstream opinion about the reincarnators. In Dorothy's case, her experience of learning Egyptian and her career as an archaeologist also caused controversies over her true lineage, which is understandable since people haven't seen a reincarnator in years. But at the beginning of the 20th century, when Dorothy fell down the stairs which decided her fate, Laplace's Scientific Computing Centre established its Australia branch, carrying out studies of local fungi. The fungi study is a brand new direction, and it has been secretly developing next to the public since, like the Australian honey fungus, growing without getting anyone's attention. The facts will speak for themselves. Please allow me to prove it to you. Medicine Pocket, could you please turn off the lights for us? Cheers. When we talk about reincarnation, the real question behind it is whether the soul exists. Because the soul is commonly considered to be the essence of what makes a person who he or she is. If a person dies, his or her soul will return to the ever-circulating network. Network? What network? A theory developed from Riemann's on the hypotheses which underlie geometry described the world as an eternal, vast, invisible yet ubiquitous knit. And as the new story described, a reincarnator is a miracle where a soul disappears from point A and shows up at point B without any clear reasons. Exactly, Miss Verdon. I'm amazed that you know so much about the reincarnators. That report described the reincarnators is incomprehensible and spontaneous, but the truth is, we've never gotten close enough to observe and study them. Uh, huh? What's the shiny powder on my fingers? You have a sharp sense. Your arcanus never ceases to amaze me. The latest studies have shown that the working mechanism of mushroom flora may be similar to the brains, and we have made some progress from that. This is why the study of mushrooms is important. It enriches our understanding of the reincarnators, for they are hard to find. You mean... these things floating in the air are... mushrooms? The Australian honey fungus the mushrooms living beneath the ground. It's a pathogenic gem that causes roots to rot. It was first discovered in a eucalyptus plantation in southeastern Australia. At the end of the 1970s, Laplace researchers who intervened in the local environment protection found that, unlike other fungi which reproduce through the spreading of spores, the honey fungi spread by the growth of their underground mycelia all over the forest. You think it's like that invisible net? Yes. A net hiding underground, in which you see an object disappear at point A and magically emerge again at point B. The reincarnators are very similar to Australian honey fungus in this aspect. And with her breath, a small amount of her saliva and the dowsing rod, we will be able to find her net and map her movements on it. And when her gaze emblazes the Umphalatus nidiformis, Omphal... Omphalatus... What? Isn't that a ghost fungus? Yes, the ghost fungus. 
the mushrooms that glow in the dark. They're called chinga in older times, which means spirit and soul, the sparkle of ideas in human minds. If the mushroom has simulated Spathodea's net, then these two light spots are... The one closer to us represents the current Miss Spathodea, and the farther and brighter one is what put her through the changes now. So... That's me in the past? And I... I will gradually turn into... Huh? Five minutes. We are right on time. Miss Desert Flannel, how do you feel? Damn it! If she's so badly injured, how much would the compensation be? Is this how my life will be? Being heavily in debt? Miss Desert Flannel, you're nibbling at your nails. You will get hurt from it. Please stop. Me? I I'm fine. You. Are you talking to me? You were saying? Yes, I was asking how you were doing. Did you get my drift? I... I think. Well, I know it's highly unlikely that this little girl was hatched from a dragon's egg, but is it possible that she's just some kind of uncommon lizard? You know, the really ancient ones? Any... anything but a reincarnator. But... but what you said doesn't make sense. What do you mean it doesn't make sense? There was fire coming out of her mouth! And my only family here is a pixel emu! Does it make sense to you? I don't follow. I know this is not your fault. It's just your arcanist nature taking over. It's very normal if you got too carried away by your emotions and became delusional and hysterical. Please, take my hand. I was once trained to help Arcanus calm down. Now breathe with me. In. And out. Me? I'm not hysterical! about arcanists. You're not even one of us. Everyone. Please, believe me that I meant you no harm, Miss Bathadia. I was only trying to help. Help? How? By calling us delusional? There's nothing I hate more than humans like you saying that others are over-emotional. People. No, nothing like that. Miss Spathodea, it is not my intention to criticize anything or anyone. It's just, biologically, arcanists tend to be more sensitive and easily affected. I also like arcanists, almost as much as I'm interested in mushrooms. That's why I study them. Hmm. Do you smell something burning? tried to warn you. It has grown larger and larger as your lizard hypothesis heated up. I'm sure the guards of Laplace will break in soon. Security of Laplace Research Center Hospital taking over. All patients and non-star, please follow me to evacuate the room. Evaluating fire level. Level two. Extinguishing the fire. Source of ignition confirmed. Request for permission to use Kangaroo Foam Fire Extinguisher 3. Uh, wait, wait, wait! You can't!
can't put out my flame. It's important for me. Very, very important. I don't know why, but it's important. This is for sure. Those bubble kangaroos will kick its butt once they see the flames. I don't want that. I'll protect it for you. Don't worry. Games. Woohoo! Release! Woohoo! Release! Nice! Is everyone seated? Ahem. The court is now in session. The verdict is. guilty! There you go. Now you're free from the fuzzy foam. Thank goodness. Um, I mean, thank you. Though I still smell like a joey, I'm much better now. In the early stages of arcane ability awakening, the rate of arcane is losing control can reach 74.3%. But it doesn't mean that you can set a fire in the clinic of the Laplace Research Center Hospital. Or fight the security to protect the flame. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do this, and I have no idea why my flame grew so... so large all of a sudden. That never happened before. I know I should have been responsible and noticed the anomaly earlier. I... I was completely lost in the argument. The silver lining is, as the fire was still under control, they used the kangaroo foam fire extinguisher and thus it didn't cause any casualties. Please write down your emotional changes and physical reactions that occurred during the incident on this sheet of paper. We'll keep tracking your physical health information. The concentration potion is on that table, and there are blankets and Type 2 PMMA safety boxes in the cabinet under the table. Please keep the hazard sealed for safekeeping. Okay. Got it. You are still in an unstable state. Please have a rest here and don't move around. If you need anything, please press the call bell on your left and our nursing staff will come to help. Hmm. Well, in case we burn another room... <sighs> the box she mentioned is... Oh, here it is. <sighs> I know Freedom met his little flame. We have no choice. Sorry, buddy. Alright, listen. My teacher said fire needs oxygen to burn. So I'll... leave a small window for you to breathe. I... have... always... wanted... to see you.
Is this the LaPaz fashion of dealing with emergencies? I swear, if anyone walks past us now, schoolers or Deros, I will be instantly killed by their silent judgment. As a matter of fact, when the patient or the subject becomes unstable during contact, it is necessary to isolate them from the triggering cause immediately. But we just burnt down the isolation room. <sighs> no wonder head nurse Judith was so angry. <gasps> Miss Verton, are you alright? That kangaroo is... Punching your nose. I'm fine. <gasps> so is the kangaroo. I'm sure Medicine Pocket will bring us the concentration potion soon. They'd better. We look like a bunch of kangaroos, feel like kangaroos, and even. Ugh. Smell like kangaroos. We will make tomorrow's headline of the Australian Naga and become the three kangaroos hanging out on a public lawn at midnight. That'd be the end of our social lives as humans and the beginning of a life as kangaroos. Make the headline? Ah, I see. Please, don't worry. Although it's true that Medicine Pocket is a frequent celebrity on the news, the concentration potion is not their work. Besides, we didn't use anything new in its development. I'm not worried about that guy. I was talking about myself. There are paparazzi following me around these days. I didn't know you were famous. I'm not. It's just that someone wants my name spread in a bad way. Ugh, trust me, you should never piss off the paparazzi. You should turn to the police for help. Yeah, yeah, just shut up and keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. I will toss his shoes on the power lines if I find him here. Miss Desert Flannel, watch your back! What are those paparazzi? Ah! Ah! It burns! Is this. fire? Miss Desert Flannel, the lake is over there! Get in there! Lake? I, I can't swim! <gasps> This stupid kangaroo kicked me in the eye! Ugh. Move! Move! I can't see where the lake is! Wait, calm down. You are not in danger. She is. Are you joking? I was getting burned! Huh? There's nothing on my skin. Cause any damage on me, just burning the foam on my skin. Is that some new method developed to get rid of the potion? But what is Miss Spathadia doing here? The head nurse shouldn't have let an unstable patient walk around freely. Did did she sneak out? Gosh, mate, she's on fire. Does she even remotely look stable to you? Rise like a deal. Dipping on the red soil where vines and woods grow. Mm. Uh, you dead? She's as well heated as a boiling pot. We can't let her go on like this. Her brain is going to be roasted in that little head. Your temperature is dangerously high. Chill out. I'm not a lizard. And concrete number two with cream is the best dish in pie material. Spathodia is suffering confusion. It's probably the flames doing. We need to separate them first. Okay. Okay. 
Miss Vinton, please step back. Oi! What are you spraying? <coughs> I'm still here! Hey! This is just some spores, Miss Desert Flannel. Worry not. They are the tranquilizer that the locals used to pacify animals and was once widely used among Arcanists in early times for hunting. As long as we calm her down, we can bring her back to... Ah! Games. 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 We need the real games. This is where sportsmanship originates. Young people. Young people. Young people need cats and strawberry jam. Well, cat jam it is. <laughs> oh. Did I use the wrong mushroom? Miss Bathadia has become even more restless. What about Miss Desert Flannel? Is she...? No, you didn't. She's behaving exactly the way you described. Uh... Miss... Desert Flannel? Is this the house for me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does this mean I don't have to pay rent anymore? <laughs> Looks like this is how she has her mental break. I will bring her back to normal immediately. It won't take m more than five minutes. But I think Miss Bathody is going to attack again. What we need is the reopening of the gate to the scorching land. And... And the retrieval of the rock. Ugh. Her fire is getting stronger! Get down! We are running out of time. Let's deal with the burning issue first. I will. I will try my best. Let us get to know each other. I'm missing. So that's your idea. I know the name. 
this is an alien city. <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. Don't miss me, really. I'll be back. Uh, where am I? What are you doing here, guys? I thought you were... driven away. Great! She's back to normal! Oh, I remember it now. Spot the deer! The game. We must revive the Uluru Games. Because the rocks rumble on the knees. I've heard what's going on. We will check if her organs are injured by the high temperature after returning to Laplace. You can visit her tomorrow after 11 a.m. Um, can we visit her? I thought you will send her to the wards on the 13th floor. Go with the flow when you can't fight it. We've now understood what will happen if we separate you and keep her alone someplace else. What's more, Laplace can't lose another clinic. I see. This is great, thank you. So, are you sure those mushrooms won't cause any damage to my brain and body? Like lower IQ levels, lung diseases, or skin allergy? Um, if you think it's necessary, I will accompany you to Laplace for some follow-up checkups. Of course, you don't have to pay for the tests. The fee will be deducted from my salary. Please, don't worry about the money. Okay, okay, enough. I trust you. I don't need a kid to pay the doctor for me. Besides, it's embarrassing enough to be put down by mushrooms. Not to mention that I'll be giving that guy the story he craved if I was hospitalized. That guy? Oh, you mean the journalist following you? Huh? Was that a flash? <sighs> Speak of the devil. Come out yourself! Don't make me force you! <laughs> Makua, don't you dare involve others. This is between you and me. I've told you long ago that one day I will make you feel the same misery that I did. I have been following you all the time. And this is the moment. The moment of vengeance. <laughs> now, I have more than enough photos. As for these other people, you didn't strike me as such a kind-hearted person. I didn't know you were so shameless. Let's see what tomorrow's newspaper has to say about this, Miss Photographer. He has a photo of us! Is he your enemy? M maybe arch enemy? What happened between you two? If you don't want to be one of the burning kangaroos on the headline tomorrow, shut up and start running! We have to stop him. Child, here's something fun for you. Oh, my apologies. I'm so sorry. I'm missing. Take it, you handle it gently. That's your idea. Okay. Mm, a little bit hot here. Pray for you. Sorry. Your peace be with 
leave us. I saw Take it easy. Planner. Please go on. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. <laughs> Break it! Break it! Please watch out! Well, that's your idea! I'm listening! Got your planner! Handle it gently! I said hello! Oh, my apologies! I'm so Did sorry! I believe in you. A sword sharp. Take it easy. I believe in you. Handle it gently. Please, that is your idea. I know the moon. And this is an alien city. Flying handbag for only 3,000 paper aunties. Oh, my apologies. I'm so sorry. I said it. Handle it gently. The story begins with a bad adult. Who did this first? Who did that? last? Pride goes before the fall. I've been there. You better take it. G'day. You, uh, got the latest Australian Naga here? Nice choice. Everyone is talking about it. Hmm? A strange party held in the city park last night. The witness claimed to see the burning kangaroos, mushroom intoxicated rolling croc, and the teenage arsonists dancing together. A secret event on the public lawn? The revival of the Uluru Games? It saddens us to admit that the recession and inflation have walloped some young adults. They were crawling in the park at night? Groaning and moaning like beasts? Dragging themselves along and losing consciousness? Wait, your voice. Are uh, you? Do you have to talk to me right now? I'm busy hating my life. I don't have time for your little chit chat. No way. Desert flannel. It's really you. Everybody is talking about you right now, and they can really imagine. Some say you're mad. Some say you're the heroes fighting against aliens. Well, the most known story is that event. Is it real that you're going to restart the games? 
I have nothing to do with it. It was all that Junior's fault. I was just unlucky. It was pure bad luck that I ran into those weirdos, got taken to the hospital and let Makawa get what he wants. I shouldn't have let him get away. Oh, if I see him again, I swear, I will pull out his tongue and tie it around his neck. Oh, look at this gibberish. He said we are the dogs who eat bunyips from the sewerage. A burning kangaroo and I am a nutter because I can't find a way to afford rent. Oh, this is great. I might as well be a kangaroo. At least it's true that you're banging your head against the wall for rent. Yeah. Be mindful that you're talking to a nutter. <sighs> Whatever. I will soon lose my part-time jobs and be kicked out of the house where my granny lived for decades. <sighs> I'm heading back. Let me know if you know of any job vacancies. I can do a lot of things. As long as the money is good. No, nah, as long as I'm paid. Wait, Desert Flannel. Come and take a look at this. So many people came here this morning asking about the Uluru Games. And one hour before, the Scissors Jerry brought me this. This is... a pre-sale ticket to the Uluru Games? I've sold over 50 tickets at a unit price of this much. Uh, it has been suspended for too long. So long that everyone thinks society has forgotten it. But we remember. Our ancestors told us about those amazing and funny sports. That big, wide and fancy stadium. <laughs> they all remember it. Even looking forward to it and even bid up for a fake ticket. Mate, did you get more of these from the other gangs? <sighs> these are from the Slicky and Eucalyptus Brotherhood. Eucalyptus and what? Didn't catch that name. Oh, do you have the mints that I bought from you before? The least purchased ones? You always put them at the bottom of your box? All right. Now give my ticket back and I'll put it away. I don't want any of the gangs to find out. I'm dealing with the other... Desert flannel? That's what I keep telling everyone. Muddying the water is what this bad girl does. That's right. Desert Flannel has taken the fake tickets with her. The ones from Clippy Slicky and the Eucalyptus Brotherhood. She's gone. No, not to the black market. <laughs> Sir, I heard that the Bunyips are getting restless again. Is that true? <laughs> ha! I'm gonna make a fortune out of it! I will be able to buy that house get myself a new oven, some new clothes, and that giant wool nest for Pluffy. Ugh, those bunyips are out again. Haven't seen them out in the sun for a while now. Oh, I must hurry. Wait, are they coming my way? I've got my eyes on them. They are more interested in her than in me. Oh, this makes sense. Since the Uluru Games have made the biggest news of the week, the people are going on and on about it all day. And where else will the rumor-loving bunyips go at this point? <laughs> the last time I saw something like this was when that scandal of Mr. Pompadour broke. It will be a big story. Almost as certainly as a cut will bleed, I will pause my other projects and focus on this one. This is very kind of you. I really appreciate it. Nobody, not any arcane creatures can stop me from getting rich. Let alone that you haven't eaten enough rumors to grow into a three-floor high and multi-legged gigantic monster. Boop, 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 boop. Plappy, give me a hand. Ha! Like that spot? 
smell of rumours from the ticket box? Come get it yourself! Miss Bathadia. It's also our responsibility to make sure that you're safe and stable. When Arcanists were first introduced to their power, they would experience a 4 to 12 week adjustment period, during which they may suffer emotional breakdowns, strong hallucinations, or frequent comas. Hey! Stop! Stop it! I have something very important to do right now! I mean it! I'm not gonna waste my time here! I'm fine. There will be no more confusion, mental breakdown, hallucination, or coma. Something very important. What is it? I flame talked to me last night. <sighs> now, to sleep. I think it's exhausted after our rampage last night. Is the conversation about your changes? Of course! The moment I touched it, it crawled along my arm to my mouth and went back to the stomach. It, and all there was left in front of me... was a black wall. Sorry, I'm not quite with you. Perhaps you could start from what happened then. Sure. I... I don't remember it well, though. They were blurry memories. Imagine you're looking at a... A plate of bacon and eggs through 30 layers of frosted glass. I had to get close to the glass to barely feel them. I remembered you were there, but there was also a clear window. I saw complete darkness in the window for most of the time, but there were pictures flashing by sometimes. I believe that's your memory as a reincarnator. Just like what's written in the books. Hey, let me finish! Ah. Uh. Sorry, I was too excited because this is the first time I see valid proof of reincarnation. Please continue. Ahem. I think that's my memory as a reincarnator. I saw my own body in that window. Just like the one I'm looking at here. I saw a lot of flames. Wobbling lights and people. My heart has never beaten that fast. Yet, the fire in my body seemed completely natural, as if it was destined to burn inside me. It whispered just one phrase to me, again and again. Like what you mentioned last night? Yes, the Uluru Games. I must revive the Uluru Games. What, what are you going to do? Let's not get to the paperwork of applications, security arrangement, and permission from the local government just yet. The location of entrance to the Uluru Games was never fixed. Only few Arcanists could find it, and the games are for Arcanists only. There has never been a human athlete in there, and they have been cancelled for all these years because... they were completely lost in the War of 1942. Nobody has found them since. But I can find it, because I have found my ancient self. I'm the only person in this time who has been to that land, and my flame is my compass. 
Although I have not yet figured out why my memories are all about the conflicts with the flame, I felt so whole again when we burned together. I'm sure it will help me and unite with me, because it trusts me so much that it traveled all the way here through the endless darkness and rainy seasons to come out of my mouth. It's here for me. And now, it's going to take me somewhere else. I'll follow wherever it goes. So, Verdon, you said you would take care of me. Would you come with me? I need a revival squad and friends who understand and support each other, just the way the flame and I do. By then, you'll go to the stadium too, and we'll run together. I promise it'll be a wonderful place where you'll never regret going. You will enjoy the Uluru Games. Hmm. I've seen pictures of the Uluru Games in the school library collection a long time ago. I was not a fan of the routine physical fitness test at school. But... I don't think any Arcanist would say no to witnessing the revival of the once magnificent games. Oh, so... I'm more than willing to join you in bringing back the games. It will be a wonderful new beginning. Well, yes! Thank you! I see. You're shouldering extremely important responsibility, Miss Bathadia. I will apply for you to be discharged and explain all this to Judith. <laughs> and thank you, Ezra! I won't forget your contribution to the revival of the Uluru Games! I'm deeply honored to have this chance to help. Then I will get the paperwork done and go pack. Hmm? Huh? What's that for? I need to prepare as many mushrooms as possible, so that I can better assist you on the way. You? On the way? You're coming too? Of course. We've been through so many things together, am I not part of the team? No, of course not. How can I take you and the Revival Squad? The games are meant for Arcanists! You've read the documents, right? Since the very beginning of history, humans have made countless attempts to find the entrance to the stadium, yet none of them made it. It's just not for humans. If you're a fan of sports, you can totally watch those held by humans. There will be a boxing event in Melbourne tomorrow at the National Tennis Centre at Flinders Park. No, no, Miss Bathadia. I'm not interested in any games. The only reason why I'm coming along is because you haven't fully recovered and still need medical care. Besides, I hope to collect more information about reincarnators from you. I will not disturb your mission searching for the stadium. Please, let me come with you. It's going to be good for both of us. Collect information? You're... monitoring me! Since when did I grant you the permission to do that? I don't want to be studied or published on newspapers like the reincarnator you talked about. Our research does not need to be published in the newspaper. We can do it in a more subtle and secure manner. I will not design any tasks for you to perform, nor will I force you to take any potions. My job is to observe, record, and ensure your health and safety, like what we do with the mushrooms. But I am a living arcanist, not a mushroom. I've had enough of everyone watching. I don't want to be the embellishment added to someone's academic achievement, or a subject of the paper that'll help you switch fields. Ah, I didn't explain it right. Miss Bathadia, please listen to me. I have never changed my heart as a researcher, and I care about Arcanus as much as I care about mushrooms. It was never my intention to use you as a career boost. You are such a rare opportunity to us because none of us know when and where the next reincarnator will be found. If we miss this opportunity, the academic circle may have to wait for another decade to further their research. The discovery you and I made may shock many. Our names might go down in history, but most importantly, it's going to help a lot of people. Have you heard of Chengis, invented by Dame Parodi? It was inspired by a long-legged shepherd in France, and it has helped many athletes with disabilities to walk and run again. <laughs> Miss Bathadia, uh, you look miserable in the blanket. Keep going, Ezra. 
You're very close. Me? Close to what? I don't follow. Close? Well, speaking of close, guess who is close to becoming the most successful business person here? Desert Flannel. Where have you been? Hi. What are the white eyes for? I'm not some monster crawling out of the sewers. You look a mess. What happened? Uh, I didn't ask you why you are crouching in bed like an ostrich, did I? So maybe you can return the favour and keep your nose out of my business, yes? And what really matters is the good stuff here. You wouldn't know how unbelievably lucky we are, my dear business part... Uh, uh, friends? Yeah, no. I don't. Ugh. Ezra alone is already too much information for my brain. Fine, you restless and humorless people. We will bring back the Uluru Games. Hmm. Um. Hey, what kind of reaction is this? Why are you quiet as stones? This is a great idea. And you're giving me this? All right. Join my revival squad. Handshake? Handshake. Then I... No, not you. This is a miracle of nature, like the Great Barrier Reef. Of course it's pleasing to the eye. Many would wrestle with the heat wave and travel all the way here from Alice Springs by bus. Hmm. I have to admit, it is worth the effort. The temperature here will get even higher at noon. Ezra has prepared plenty of cooling tablets and water in the medical kit for us. If anyone still suffers sunstroke, we also have the budgerigar coat as an emergency measure. So that's why Ezra took you to the room before we left. To tell you all this. Ezra is worried about you, and so are we. Hmm. Huh. Someone is feeling bad about what she said earlier. If you ask me, that human girl has a good heart. Maybe she can work on her ways of communicating with people, but that altruism in her is almost angel-like. And she has the face of a little angel. Wouldn't be such a bad idea to put her in some baby care commercials. I heard those things pay you generously. I might as well ask what she thinks. Huh? Go forward. Ah! It's talking again! What? Who's talking again? The flame! It's talking! Didn't you hear it? Nah, it sounds the same to me. This is just the sound of fire burning, snoring like my late old man. Well, maybe you can also try turning off this little thingy's TV. Maybe it will jump up and shout, I'm still watching. I'm not joking. It's really talking. Listen.
Wait, its temperature has gone up, and it's transforming. What is this? A rocket? No more waiting. Everyone, mind your steps and keep up. A race in the desert. Ooh, great! I wonder why I'm not as clever and creative as you are. Miss Verdon, was she talking to me? She always looks over. Perhaps she knows that I'm following them. But no. I'm hiding well. They shouldn't know. Having emotional turmoil, acting impulsively, feeling fanatical about the retrieved memories, and the unstoppable urge to return to the homeland. These all match the description in the research notes. And now the fire, which is also the key in this case, is burning vigorously. Hmm. The notes end here. That's all we know about reincarnators. I can't deduct more based on the current data. But at the same time, the unknown can be dangerous, yet exciting. It may bring about catastrophes or miracles. Just like Arcanists. So charming and lively. My job is to help and protect them, so their burning enthusiasm will not be dampened. Like what Mom said, this is our mission as mankind. The annual jumper frog mushroom, the fairy ring powders, and the butterfly shaped portobello mushroom. Very well. I have them all. This time, I'm prepared for any danger. Gotcha! You're not running away from... This is the beginning of the journey. Beginning of the journey? No, we set off from Melbourne. We're close to Uluru now, so it's almost so distant. Gosh, what are these? These are murals. No, they are reliefs. All the marks are carved out of the wall. These carvings existed long before any murals. And they are rougher. Of course they are. Just think, when did our ancestors learn to draw with paints? And when did they start carving with sharp stones? They're beautiful. Like star trails, one circle in another. I think I've seen them before. They feel... familiar and make me thirsty at the same time. Look, this circle's just like a spring. We don't need a spring. We brought water ourselves. Drink as much as you want. Hmm? Look here. These are most probably some ancient relics. This one looks like an animal, and this a plant. Hmm. And what is this? Birdie. They have something to do with people's lives. These marks have to mean something. Maybe they will lead us to the entrance to the stadium. The 
This is a time when Spathodea's opinion matters more than ours. Come, key girl, take a look at this. Spathodea? Where... where did she go? And that fire... they're all gone. What the hell is going on again? She better be pulling a prank on me. I heard her footsteps behind me just now. Relax, Desert Flannel. We've got help. Ezra? How... how did you get here? Wait, how long have you been following us? From the beginning, when you were at the hospital. Sorry, Miss Desert Flannel. Please let me check this first. This smell. I can't be wrong. This is Devil's Thorn. What's that? Does it have anything to do with her missing? A rare kind of mushroom that grows in the desert. Allegedly, it's genetically connected to lizards. I've only seen its pictures in books. It has wide open pileus with sharp spikes, and its roots are as absorbent as a sponge, which allows it to absorb and preserve underground water. They only appear around water sources, and with this spiral pattern on the wall, I think... I think I might have a way to find her. Please, come with me. or professional games. It's also the sport for which I've been secretly training myself every day after lunch. The light bulbs picking game. Malingi's harvest. No. No. But these are not light bulbs for the athletes to pick up from the ground, but fire. And I don't have such a burning campfire at home. It can only be found here. Beside the flowing spring, under the starry sky, 
On the scorching sand? I saw the burning campfire and the sparks scattering in all directions. My hands surrounded by blazing flames. I touched the inner cone again and again as I flew by. Immersed in great joy, I dove down from the air. At that time, our hands held each other in the flames. Our traces went on from one torch to another. Yes, I know. I remember it now. I once drank the cold water in the spring and covered my limbs with colorful strips. I sang and danced until a pair of wrinkled hands touched my forehead. Good girl. My good girl. Your hands are dusted. But you win the game and your soul is sparkling. It's you who find the hottest fire for us. It's you who connect to it and make friends with it. I shall grant you the scepter and lead you to the highest platform. I shall become the next priestess of the Uluru Temple. I shall take responsibility for every drop of sweat on the red soil. And I shall eulogize all the significant, fair competitions. <coughs> I shall store the flame in my mouth, my stomach, my heart, and my ribs. I shall protect her, not to let her extinguish, nor to let her go astray or away. I hereby swear, I shall be with the Uluru Games until forever. of the stadium. They are... Uh, I can explain it later. We have to deal with them first. Hmm? Little flame? Hey! What are you doing? No time to hesitate. Protect Bathadir and engage.
right. They are down. Everyone, for the sake of prudence, please stay back and do not approach before confirming the danger has been eliminated. No, there's no more danger now. Look! No need to worry or hesitate. Now, it's all clear. Long story short, mates, I've retrieved many memories. At least now I know who I used to be. My name in the last life was Flammy. Exactly what my close ones call me now. I am still me. I'm not replaced by anyone. You... are still you. The modern version. This has never happened to any reincarnators as far as we know. That's because Flammy and I are very alike. And we both have the same beauty on our shoulders. I am Flammy. I obtained the Uluru Flame from the fire with my own hands. I was the first priestess in the history of the Uluru Games. I am Spadutia. I keep the flame that traveled all the way from the ancient times inside me. I will become the next priestess in the history of the Uluru Games. Remember what I said, mates? My flame is our compass. Mom said good kids never lie. So, I always keep my word. <laughs>